Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars, Tarot. So not meditating on the energy, we're just going to dive in together. Let's see what spirit would like the collective to know about what is coming through the 222 portal. We have the Four of Swords, and then we have the Magician. So, uh, what I kind of feel like is like your energy levels are going to pick up. And look, we got Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, definitely, your energy levels are going to be picking up. Like, I feel like perhaps um, a lot of people in the collective have been dealing with like low energy levels. Maybe like a fatigue or like... I don't know, like, it's like you'll get eight hours of sleep, but you're still tired. Like, even if you get a chance to get a full night's rest, you still don't feel quite fully rested. Your body, like, your diet, your metabolism, it's because we've been, like, transitioning. Um, The 111 portal was very powerful for a lot of us, and it brought a lot of new beginnings. And then in the period between the 111 portal and now the 222 We've had to go through a lot in order to make room for what came through in the one. The one brought in a lot of new beginnings. Um, and then we've seen in the collective readings how a lot of endings and closing out of cycles and clearings, blockages being removed. Um, we had to make space for all this new good energy that came in through the one, one, one. And during that process of... Um, Closing out the cycles, transitioning from the old life into the new life, making space for these new beginnings, these new opportunities, the abundance, the blessings, the new life. Um, this took a toll on our body, not anything like overwhelming or anything you can't handle, but it was a, it took a lot of energy. Um, and that's part of the reason why your energy levels have been low. It's also because of the ascension and the integration you've been going through. So we've kind of been like working over time as a whole, as a collective. We've been really trying to pick up the pace. And um, that's part of the reason why a lot of us have been taking time to rest, relax, um, maybe take a break from technology and take some time to just kind of do nothing for a day. Um, it's okay, you needed to, but this 222 portal, a lot of us are going to be getting a boost of energy, a, a jolt. We're not going to be needing, feeling a need to rest so much. We're going to have a, a bit of a fire, a passion, a spark, right? So we've got the Eight of Cups and then the Princess of Swords reverse and then tempered so we've got a lot of forward movement it's interesting how this princess of swords is coming out reversed underneath the magician and sandwiched between this temperance and eight of cups so i feel like this um forward movement that's going to take place like i feel like it's so we've left a lot we've made room we've closed out cycles we've brought in new and now things need to be balanced out. Now things are starting to settle, right? We're all kind of like settling into our balanced, harmonious state with that dual energy of the two. There's going to be a lot of forward movement. This forward movement is progress, but it's also leaving the shit that we've been working on up till now behind us as well. I feel like you're going to be like, yeah, look, I just split the deck to the Six of Wands, and that was with the Six of Swords, so double confirmation 66 could be some of the energy involved in this as well, which would make sense because 222 two, two breaks down to a six. It's all about this balance, this love, this harmony, bringing us to a center, balancing out all of this energy that we've been kind of going through as we've been transitioning from the old to the new and um, making space for the new wave, the new light, the new life that we are creating for ourselves. 
Um, you're going to be leaving some people that have enjoyed observing and watching you. Um, they're no longer going to be able to observe you or watch you. So, like, I don't know if you're moving so fast they can't see you. So, like, uh, their their eyes can't keep up with your movements because you're accelerating, you're progressing, you're vibrating so fast. Um, for others of you, it's actually literally because of the cycles you've closed out. Once when you fully embark in the new and things kind of get balanced out, there's like a severing, a cutting of the cords, and these individuals are no longer going to have access. And I also feel like this has to do with like some kind of spiritual surveillance. If any of you have been um, observed or surveillance through some kind of like astral projection or tarot or someone's using some kind of like divination or any kind of um, esoteric mystic kind of way to keep tabs on you they're going to be cut off and it's because they didn't make the quantum jump that you're making so they're no longer in your bandwidth in your frequency spectrum they can't access you they can't touch you also, people aren't going to be able to understand or like contemplate, like it, it's like, uh, like, I don't know, people are going to be blindsided by the, um, where you arrive with this Six of Swords and Eight of Cups. It's like the amount of progress, the amount of forward movement, the amount that gets accomplished. Cause remember how I said, it's like a, a lot of people in the collective have been um, maybe feeling a little lackadaisical. Their energy hasn't been that high. Maybe a lot of people have been kind of taking some time to like maybe relax if you have the chance to. Um, but there's like a kick in the butt. Now it's like, all right, you've had your rest. You've had your relaxation. We've closed out some cycles. You're integrating. Now it's time to get up and do something, you know? We brought you back to center. Now let's go. Let's do something with all this good stuff we've uh, accumulated for ourselves. And where you are headed and what you are creating for yourself... People did not see this coming. You're going to catch a lot of people off guard. It's like they're almost like not even going to understand how you got there. Um, also, I feel like the chaos and the stresses in your life, it's going to kind of like diminish. Um, I feel like a sense of peace. I feel like we're entering like a, a shifted timeline where before things were a little harder on us, they took a more of an energetic toll on our minds, on our vessel, on our bodies. Um, and things felt a little slower and a little um, rougher because it was a more like more turbulent um, path we were on. But like this new timeline that we're jumping into through this 222, it feels um, a lot faster. It feels more energetic. It feels more like sparky, um, fiery. It also feels very um, free. It feels boundless. It feels peaceful. It doesn't feel as um, karmic, as lessons, as harsh, as abrasive, as resisting. It's like smooth flowing energy. And a lot of you, this is what you have accomplished for yourself is this like smooth and butter. It's like from the 222 and on there, it's like things are going to be a lot easier, which would make sense because as we step into that um, three portal, I, I can see how that would progress. But we'll leave that energy for next month's reading. What else would you like the collective to know about um, what is happening with this 222 portal for them? A lot of you are going to be gaining like, um, like if you, something was like manifested on the 111 of like, um, business or job, or if you've been working on something or something was in the starts, it's like after this 222, that's when it really starts to reap. That's when, um, the revenue starts coming in. That's when like, your in I feel like a lot of people, your income is going to be a lot easier after this 222 portal. It's like um, where you're at in life after this jump, this shift that we're making, things are just going to be a little more easier on us. I feel like we've all came through like a past few months of some pretty uh, rough cycles as we each tried to work our way to make the shifts of these higher timelines that we are um, bringing in for ourselves 
a lot of you are going to be having a lot more options. So we've got this new fire. We've got this new jolt, this drive, this uh, passion for life. You know, get up and get out of bed. Let's come on. Let's move it, people. We got there's daylight to go. Um, it's like this excitement, this motivation to get up and do. And you're going to have a lot more things available to you to expend all this good energy that you have. Um, so it's like you're going to be moving around a lot is what I'm getting. Um, we've spent a lot of time kind of like recovering from hibernation, it almost feels like. And now it's, you know, spring starting to come soon. It's time to start picking up the pace, um, start putting feet on the ground and uh, use up all this good energy that we've got going on. A lot of you are definitely getting wish fulfillment and money and career. I mean, the star card with the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, that's complete i mean for a lot of you like i don't know what you're doing what you're working on but wow is it going to take off ace of pentacles with the star i mean that's that's like dream job star status um you could be doing something online you could be having your own business you could have a lot of clientele um as well though what's interesting is almost like whatever this newness that's coming in in regards to finances career work job um, it's like this new um, way of working, this new way of earning income or this new level of income. It's like it brings a, a bit of healing with it as well. So it's like because financially you're doing better, it's a little easier for you to heal from the tough cycles that you're coming out of because you're not so stressed about the bare necessities of life. So you can kind of loosen up a little bit and spend all that energy you've been spending on, perhaps, if this resonates for you, spending on trying to make ends meet, get caught up on bills or whatever it may be. It's like this new cycle you're stepping into, it's going to be a lot more lax on you financially. You're not going to have to hustle and grind as hard. Um, for a lot of you, you may actually be getting ahead a little bit. Maybe you're getting like a few months out ahead on your bills or something. This could have to do with that, uh, this tax return, depending on where you are in the world, if you are a part of the tax returns in tax season. But I, I do see for a lot of you that was much needed. Like perhaps um, you were just barely holding on, trying to make it through till that came through. And then once that comes through things get a little easier for you you're able to get caught up on some things and get ahead in other areas and then money starts flowing in through the other things you've been working on um for a lot of you as well i feel like your intuition is going to get more dimensional is what i'm feeling it's like um i don't know perhaps before you were able to have like intuitive feelings perhaps you could get like um little like visions or nudges or you could feel someone's emotion or you would get like a little scene in your head of what someone was feeling or thinking it's gonna get more um like it's gonna have more depth to it um like I, I don't know like before it was like that but now it's like you can step into the a whole like simulated world of the message and take it in it's like you will have like a um, a 3D perspective of the information. You can actually navigate around the intuition in an X, Y, and Z format. Um, it's going to give you more um, ways to attack and observe your intuition and understand it at a deeper level. And it's going to make things a lot more clear. I feel like a lot of you are going to step into mental clarity. Like, oh my gosh, if anything has been like, foggy or whatever i mean we we had like really heavy fog there i did a reading on it like a, a few weeks ago or something about what that meant like spiritually for us but it's like things are getting lighter things are getting faster things are getting more abundant they're getting happier they're getting balanced out it's not going to be as stressful it's going to be a little smoother a little easier going you're going to be less stressed your mind is going to be at ease you're going to have more options you're going to have more energy to explore these options people are being like removed from your energy they're no longer they no longer have access to like stalk you or observe you it's like uh, you're kind of being protected from that. Some people are actually a little bit stressed out about this because they're not able to know what you're doing. They can't see what you're working on. Um, 
the only thing they can see, it, it doesn't make sense to them, and that, like, stresses them out even more. Uh, there's also some kind of, like, judgment day for a injustice that has taken place. I feel like this injustice took place a while ago. And for a lot of you, that's going to be wrapped up here um, between February, March, and maybe May. Just another side note for you guys. And it, it has to do with someone trying to be in some kind of competition with you. Trying to, like, compete, put you down, be better than you in some kind of way, take from you, gain off of you, put you down. Empress. Yeah, I really just feel like it's, like, it, it's a time to get out and do. It's a time to, like, I don't know, it's, like... It literally has to do with the season as well. It's just like leaving um, winter energy into that spring energy. The the new beginnings, the new year, the the flowers blooming. Some something about that is significant. We're gonna feel it in the air. Yeah, absolutely. For a lot of you, there's gonna be some kind of shift in something, and you're gonna be receiving some kind of. Uh, Balancing of the scales due to an injustice that has taken place in the past. Um, yeah, there may even be some kind of information or communication coming into you in regards to that. What else would you like the collective to know? Okay, we have that Empress energy coming out here again, along with the High Priestess. So double confirmation on those two energies being very prevalent in the collective right now. Also, there's some kind of like ending. Um, it's like a a detachment, a mental detachment. So like something is being released from your mind, from your psyche. It no longer bothers you. It no longer takes space in your consciousness. You're no longer thinking about it. It's over. Um, and it has to do with something that hurt you. And that also has to do with that temperance energy we saw earlier. Where there's like mental clarity and a bit of peace and at ease. But High Priestess, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. For a lot of you, you may actually be working on some kind of spiritual practice. That's going to bring in um, some kind of pinnacle for you. I also feel like uh, there's like emotional or energetic blockages. And it has to do with like um, hurt specifically. Something that hurts you. Um, that's being removed. That's being cleared. Yeah. Eight of Cups. We're leaving that behind. We're leaving those empty cups behind. It no longer um, needs to take residency in your vessel. We've got to balance it out. Exactly, Ace of Cups. Because there's too much to be happy about. It, it's kind of hard to be caught up in something that's over. If you're so overwhelmed and fulfilled and engaged with all this good, happy stuff that's going on around you. So, it, it feels like... Um, the bad shit is being replaced with more pleasant things. So you, it'll take your mind off of it. And you'll be able to like surrender and release it a little easier. It's like a, um, a healing crutch. It's like, I know you could do it the hard way. I know you would eventually surrender and let this wound go. But here, have a cookie. And then you're like, ooh, a cookie. And then it's like, oh yeah, my knee doesn't really hurt that much anymore. 
I'm just happy to have a cookie. It's like you're kind of just being like you're getting a little boost, a little confidence boost, like a little like here, treat yourself, you know, take care of yourself. You deserve it. You've came so far. I feel like you're really appreciated. People hate your light. I feel like um, the divine really appreciates like the spiritual realms, your ancestors, like and even people around you, like they notice they really appreciate how you shine regardless of what people say or think about you. Like other people don't like that you're spiritual, don't like that you're comfortable being you. That you can be quirky, you could be weird, you could be goofy, you could crack jokes, you could be standoffish, you're okay being alone, you can go be the crazy cat lady and water your plants and sing little hymns in your head and be in your own little world and you're perfectly okay with that. You know, you're content. Um, for a lot of you, you might believe something that's not of the norm. Maybe you have an unconventional thought. Maybe you have a unique way of seeing the world and you're okay with that being different. You're okay with being you. You're okay with your individuality and people can't stand that because they're not okay with themselves. They're still insecure. So then they're like projecting onto you, but it doesn't touch you. It doesn't phase you. You don't care. You don't pay it any mind. Because you're just happy to be you. You're happy to have your life. You're grateful to be who you are in this life. And not a lot of people are. So that gives you like an extra shine, an extra gloss on your glimmer. And people see that. They pick up on that. People really appreciate that you don't care what someone thinks or says. You are just going to live your life spiritually happily a little quirkily or eccentrically however it is you're just you and you don't care it doesn't matter fuck what they think and they mad about it there's people upset about it who cares though right besides you're about to blast off out of their little horrible world they live in yeah Someone's literally thinking about how they were unsuccessful in hurting you because you're too strong. I mean, I also kind of feel like whoever this energy is to you, this person that was hating, they're jealous or envious, um, they're taking some time to like think about how they were so unsuccessful in any of their attempts to hate you, to hurt you, to betray you, to stick you, to whatever. You're too strong for them. You're too happy. And then... I'm hearing the song like, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, and I shine like gloss. It's like, you know, they hate us because they ain't us. That's really all it is. They're just an ass, and they don't like that they're not you. So just let them do what they do. And then there's, it's like they're also being removed. Like, they, they no longer have access to your life or your story anyways. It's, it's like they're irrelevant. So why should they like even be able to window shop? It's like you're you're not supposed to be here. Get out. Three lots of celebration, lots of happiness, honestly. It feels so abundant, it feels so smooth, so free. I feel like things have been very stressful. Um perhaps things have been tighter after the holidays, entering the new tax year. Um, but like it feels like things are really gonna start picking up. And for a lot of you, you're going to actually start seeing all of those blessings you've been hearing about in these tarot readings. But you're like, where the fuck they at? <laughs> I'm still eating ramen noodles, right? It's coming. It really is. And if you believe it, it absolutely will come. Because what you believe is what you experience. And that's the true power in manifestation. To know it. To just know it. That's, it's really that simple. No one could convince you otherwise. You know it that strongly. That's how you become a powerful manifester. So know that these blessings are coming for you. Claim it. Actualize it. Speak it over your life. I feel like things in family and home as well are going to be a little... Um, they're going to be happier. They're going to be more joyful. Um, maybe if uh, you've been working a lot or you've not had the energy, you're going to have the energy maybe... Because of this money that's coming in, you're gonna be you're gonna have the energy and have more time 
to spend with family. Maybe you couldn't because your energy levels were low and maybe so was your pinnacle as well. So what little bit of energy you had, it had to go into trying to maintain and balance all your responsibilities of life. But with this ease in this uh, life now, where things are a little easier on you, um, you're not as stressed, you know, your bills are taken care of, everything's going a little smoother, you have more energy levels, it's like, oh, okay, you know what, kids, let's go, let's go out and go to wherever today, my treat, right, and the kids are like, yay, da, 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 and then probably ruin it, because they act up and don't know how to act when you do nice things for them, because that's how little kids are, but besides that part, I, I really feel like um, you're going to have a lot of reason to celebrate, for some of you, actually, you may be um, receiving some kind of communication from a grandmother or a mother. It's someone you haven't heard from in a while. I feel like this is going to be very positive. This is going to be very happy for you. Um, you may actually, some of you may actually be traveling to see a relative, a family of yours. This may be a little bit of a, uh, emotional because I'm, I'm picking up on emotions right now. Someone's health might might not be that well, and uh, you may decide to go out and see them while you still can for whoever that is for. Uh, I send you all my love and light and condolences. Um, something with a, a name that starts with C. Like Cam. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. That's that, like, a, a level up, stepping up. Like, shit's been difficult. Shit's been hard. I mean, it, it's been hard getting out of bed. Like, whatever it is. Like, but shit's taking off now. Now it's good. Now we're, now we're cooking with grease, right? Now the money's coming in. Now you're feeling good. You're skipping. You're singing. Like, this is good energy. And this is, I feel like it's just, this is just the start of it. It's going to propel. It's going to gain momentum. And we're actually going to see this start to like take off throughout spring and into the summer. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is actually, this 222 portal is when you really start to feel the shift of, wow, this is going to be my fucking year. This is my year. I'm taking it. Like I'm taking this year as hostage. Taking it mine. Waha. It's like... I, I don't know, like before it was like, yeah, you felt something good about this year, you were like, I, I know it's going to be a good year, you had your reasons for thinking so, but then January and February, and it was like, yeah, it's a little better, but it's, it's still kind of hard, like, I, I'm seeing like the weather reporter, <laughs> oh my gosh, that they just always put in these horrible situations, and they're like, alright, so how is it over there, in the middle of that tornado, hurricane, wildfire, and like, <laughs> trees and houses are flying over their head, and they're like trying to act like, well, da da da, like, I, I don't know, it's kind of like, maybe that's how the first couple months of this year have felt um and it, it's like you're making through that you held you bared the storm you know you held your ground you stuck it through and now shit's i mentioned in a previous um actually a couple very recent readings about all this uh sacrifice this hard work this um energy this effort the grind the hustle the bustle the you know the the budgeting your meals and the late nights and the two shifts and the overtime whatever it is for you um it's going to pay off and you're really going to start to see that in this 222 portal it's like i don't know i really love this cuz i feel like this is a break so many people need desperately just a little like please just can you make my suffering just a little less suffering just for like even like a couple weeks please like can i just like enjoy for a little bit before i go right back to the the grind the battle the fight whatever it's like you're gonna get that you really are and then you're actually gonna feel like wait a minute maybe i'm not just getting a brief um reprievement from the struggle maybe i actually am getting myself out of this things are looking up i actually feel like life is getting better I like it for a lot of you, this is going to feel so good. You're going to actually be excited about what comes after. 
You're like, well, shit, if I'm building up and all this energy is gaining momentum and all this good stuff is going on and my money is picking up, things are getting easier, you're going to feel a little more excited about, you know, well, what's next after this? Because I feel like the momentum's not stopping. It's not slowing down. This isn't like um, a crash and a burn. This is just a, a steady takeoff. And the, it's free energy running this spaceship so we ain't got to worry about no gas stations fuck them prices anyways energy should be free we've had the technology since like the 50s but anyways before i go on a rant about that it's i, I don't know it, it, this is good and you're gonna feel better about um this year you're gonna feel better about your future and you're gonna have an excitement for the months to come and for your life ahead of you so i am going to leave this here I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you on the next collective message.